Good morning. Welcome to Breakfast with John Kay and Naga Manchetti. Our headlines this morning. The Tories are set for a stunning by-election victory in Hartlepool. The seat has been a Labour stronghold for more than 50 years. We're going to have the result in the next few minutes. A long night of counting and a long history for Labour in this town. It'll come to an end, though, in the next few minutes. It's just one in a bumper set of local, regional and national elections involving tens of millions of voters across the country. We'll analyse what it all means throughout the programme. Good morning. Green means go, but where to? Travel companies and holidaymakers await the government's green list of destinations. It's expected later, so I'll look at what tests and forms you'll need for a break in the sun this year. It's a frosty start for some of us this morning, a cold start for most, and we're looking at a day of sunshine and showers, some heavy and thundery with some hail. Then into the weekend, it's looking wet and windy. I'll have all the details coming up. Good morning, everybody. Friday, the 7th of May, and a big political story this morning ahead of a very big political weekend, because any minute now, the result of the Hartlepool by-election is going to be announced, with the Conservatives now confident of a stunning victory. This is the scene inside the Millhouse Leisure Centre in Hartlepool, where those final votes are being counted, and a declaration any second. We're waiting for that, and of course we will bring you that as soon as it happens. We understand that the Labour Party has all but conceded defeat, admitting that it failed to get over the line. Hartlepool has been a Labour stronghold since it was created in 19...